now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. But I thought I was supposed to be shopping now in case everything ran out. Either way, shop now, shop then, looking like good deals and looking like good weather to be inside doing some of that shopping because temperatures are going to be fairly cool as we have a storm system to our north that is going to bring the chance of flurries. It is also going to make it feel like the 30s when we wake up uh, tomorrow morning. Right now, though, we're taking a live look out over toward Baltimore and we're noticing mostly cloudy skies and locations as we do have the storm system nearby. Temperatures currently 46 degrees out toward Essex, out over toward the Inner Harbor. You're at 47, Columbia, 46 degrees as well. But the real deal is, what does it feel like, right? Feels a little bit cooler when you factor in the wind. Feels like 42 in Columbia, feels like 39 in Parkton. And this is with our winds predominantly out of the south. So when we get a stronger wind, that's going to make temperatures feel even cooler. Currently, wind speeds only averaging five to seven miles per hour. But with the storm system to our north, we should see our winds sustained 10 to 20 miles per hour tomorrow and the strongest in the morning, which is when it's the coldest. So that's going to make it feel awfully brutal to your skin for all those kiddos who have to wait out at the bus stop tomorrow morning. There's that low pressure system moving off from Ohio, pushing out over toward portions of New York. In fact, Buffalo is already going to be seeing some of that slushy mix. And then for us, we're just going to see uh, that storm system somewhat fall apart by tomorrow. Still enough to give us an isolated flurry. Not going to be a lot of us. It's really only a 10% chance, but nonetheless, we could see it. And temperatures are going to feel very cool with those winds gusting, mostly cloudy skies to start things out. As the day progresses though, we get more sunshine out there. Winds are still going to stay a little bit breezy, so still going to feel a little bit cool out there. In fact, almost about five to 10 degrees cooler than normal for us. Not for long, that high pressure to the south will start pumping in warmer air, especially for the middle half of the work week. So let's show you what it's going to actually feel like tomorrow, right? Here we are, 8.30 in the morning. If kiddos are waiting out at the bus stop, it feels like 28 degrees in the Inner Harbor, feeling like 27 in Elkton, Stevensville feeling like 31. So if you wanna go ahead and be nice, you can take your kiddos to school instead of making them wait outside in the blustery conditions for you. By 10 a.m., still watching these numbers, not really moving up much because the winds are going to stay fairly cool. And remember, it's cloudy, so it's going to take a little bit of time before things really warm up. Now we're looking at 1245, your lunch hour, and this is yet again what it feels like to your skin. So hopefully you pack your lunch with you so you can eat on inside, only feeling like 32 and parked in Columbia, feeling like 37 and feeling like 38 degrees out toward the Inner Harbor. The kiddos get home from school off the bus and now they're walking home feeling like 38 into Stevensville. These numbers just all around cold reading them. I want to go ahead and put my coat on for you and five o'clock yet again. We are watching the northern half of the uh, state feeling like the 20s for us. When in reality, we are going to see the mix of sun and clouds by 10 a.m., officially 46, but feeling closer to the 30s for you by 4 p.m. There goes that plenty of sunshine on out there. Seven day forecast for you tomorrow, windy, isolated snow flurries to start. Tuesday, we get a mix of sun and clouds out there, and now you really see the warm up coming into place Wednesday and Thursday. That's a look at your seven day